Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everybody, my name is Jasmine Fajria Putri Nur My student ID number is 11190170000030 I'm a first master college student majoring in mathematics education Class of 5A, Faculty of Tarbiyah and Teacher Training At Syarif Hidayatullah State Islamic University, Jakarta In this video, I will discuss some questions that related to mathematical logic in life. Let's discuss the question about mathematical logic in real life. Question number one. The following two statements are known. Statement B is, Annie likes mathematics. Statement Q is, Annie likes chemistry. Write a compound statement that is notated as follows. A, P and Q, B, negation of P and Q, C, P and negation of Q, and D, negation of P and negation of Q. Let's discuss this question. This symbol denotes a conjunction. To make a compound statement with these symbols on it, we connected the statement by the word N. So, let's answer point A. The question is P and Q. So, the compound statement is Annie likes mathematics and Annie likes chemistry. Next, let's answer point B. The question is negation of P and Q. First, we define the negation of P. P is Annie likes mathematics. So the negation of P is Annie doesn't like mathematics. The compound statement of negation P and Q is Annie doesn't like mathematics and Annie likes chemistry. Next is point C. The question is P and the negation of Q. First, we define the negation of Q. Q is any likes chemistry. So the negation of Q is any doesn't like chemistry. The compound statement of P and negation of Q is any likes mathematics and any doesn't like chemistry. Last, let's answer point D. The question is the negation of P and the negation of Q. As we have already determined in points P and C, that the negation of P is any doesn't like mathematics and the negation of Q is any doesn't like chemistry. Then, the compound statement of the negation of P and the negation of Q is Annie doesn't like mathematics and Annie doesn't like chemistry. Question number two. The following statements are known. Let P is Sinta can speak English. Q is Sinta can speak Spanish. And R is Sinta can speak Korean. Translate the following compound sentences into symbolic notation using the appropriate logical operators. A. Sinta can speak English and Korean. B. Sinta can speak English but can't speak Spanish. C. Sinta can speak Korean but not Spanish and English. Let's discuss this question. Based on the written statements, it is known that B e is Sinta can speak English, Q is Sinta can speak Spanish, R is Sinta can speak Korean. Let's answer point A. The sentence is Sinta can speak English and Korean. If this sentence is written in the long form or becomes compound sentence, it will be Sinta can speak English and Sinta can speak Korean. In this sentence, it is known that there are two statements, namely Sinta can speak English, which is statement P, and Sinta can speak Korean, which is statement R. 
these two statements are connected by the word and, so we use conjunction operator. So the symbolic notation is P and R. Now we move to point B. The sentence is, Sinta can speak English but can't speak Spanish. If this sentence is written in the long form or becomes compound sentence, it will be Sinta can speak English and Sinta can't speak Spanish. In this sentence, it is known that there are two statements, namely Sinta can speak English, which is statement B, and Sinta can speak Spanish, which is the negation of Q because it is the opposite of statement Q and there's a word not in it. These two statements are also connected by the word and, so the symbolic notation is P and the negation of Q. Plus, let's answer point C. The sentence is, Sinta can speak Korean but not Spanish and English. If this sentence is written in the long form or compound sentence, it will be Sinta can speak Korean and Sinta can speak Spanish and Sinta can speak English. In this sentence, it is known that there are three statements, namely Sinta can speak Korean, which is the statement R, Sinta can speak Spanish, which is the negation of Q because it is the opposite of statement Q, and Sinta can speak English, which is the negation of statement P, because it is the opposite of statement P. And also, those two statements have a word not in it. These statements are connected by the word and, so we use conjunctions operator. Then, the symbolic notation is R and the negation of Q and the negation of P. Well, that's enough discussion for this video. I hope this video can be useful for you in understanding examples of mathematical logic in life. Goodbye, see you on another video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.